Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to unlock the Gathering minigame in Black Desert that lets you complete your gathering sessions significantly faster by burning through energy even faster. And yeah, pretty cool thing you might want to unlock if you're into the life skilling trades of the game. Quickly before we get into it though, if you're new to my channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps to grow my channel, you stay up to date with new content, and we both win and. Without further ado, let's get into it. So to get started with unlocking this minigame, you're going to need to head over to Nampo Moodle Village, located right here in the new Land of Morning Light region. Head over here, and you need to find the NPC Hyung Young over here. Uh, this is the same NPC you do the Don's Glove exchange with, but this time, we're going to be looking to pick up a different quest from him. And in order to see this quest, you're going to need to be at least Artisan 1 in your gathering profession. So don't come over here unless you've uh, already gotten that. But when you go ahead and interact with them, click on the quest tab. At the bottom, you will see Green Thumb Gather Across the Sea. Go ahead and accept that quest line to begin the quest series. And before you head out from here, you're going to want to pick up a couple of items. I have both of them already in my inventory, the Liana's tool bag. But what you're going to want is a hoe as well as a lumbering axe. You're going to need both of these items in order to complete the quest line. It'll make it significantly easier for you to, to complete the quest. Um, both of these items can be bought pretty regularly off the central market, or you might have them from login rewards. But uh, yeah, you should be able to pick them up pretty, pretty easily. There's a bunch of magic O's, a bunch of lumbering axes. If you use the control F function to try and find the items, if you like type in lumbering, you probably got a bunch of lumbering axes hanging out in login rewards. And the same thing goes for the hose as well. So you should have a bunch of those sitting around. I wonder if this video is going to get demonetized for how many times I'm going to have to say ho during it. But anyway, for this quest, you're going to have to go ahead and gather Mayo times 50. And uh, there's a bunch of waypoints that will be placed on your map. The one you're going to want to go to, though, is over here at the Cheongyun Institute, Cheongsan Institute. Reason being is because that's where the next quest line series is, so if we just head over there, it'll make it a little easier for ourselves. And when you get over here at the Institute, it's all of these red trees that are floating around, so just go ahead and up to those and just gather from them, and hopefully you'll complete the uh, gathering bit here. And once you complete that quest trigger, you can just go ahead and right-click the uh, little icon there at the quest finder, and it'll identify the next NPC you need to talk to. Who's going to be this person right here down by the road, the NPC Soil. Go ahead and interact with them. That'll complete this stage of the quest and move on to the next one. Also worth noting, make sure that you have all quest types enabled. Forgot to say this a second ago. Make sure they're all enabled so you can actually see these quests. Now this is going to put a new waypoint on your map to go ahead and gather reeds. In order to get that waypoint, right click on the uh, quest icon right there. That'll put the next spot on our map we need to head up to, which is this plateau up here. So we'll just move out over there. And once you get up here, you should see some of the reeds pretty much all over the fields here. Make sure you are using your uh, hoe that you brought with you to make this a little bit easier to complete. But just dash around the fields until you can gather all the reeds that you need for this one. Should be pretty quick. Um, you only need 100 of this one. Also, to make your life a little easier on this one, if you have a pet that has spent, uh, finds resources here, um, it might make it a little easier to find the reeds that are actually interactable because it'll place a red waypoint on your, uh, on your screen there. You saw it pop up there a second ago. So we'll just wait for the next proc of that to happen, so I don't have to keep running around. And there's one right there. So made it a little bit easier to, to find all these things that you need. Now once you have that one completed, you can right click on the icon here to find the NPC that we need to go talk to next. So again, just right click the quest marker, and it'll take you over to the NPC up here. And when you interact with that NPC, talk to them and accept the next portion of the quest line. Go ahead and right click on this to place another waypoint on your map. And uh, for this one, you're going to want to start on the upper side, and then we'll go down to the bottom. So start up above up here, and then we'll jump down the ledge after. And what I mean by that is just like run across these fields here and make your way over to the waypoints that are on the map. And we want to stay on the upper side up over here. And when you get up here, like on the upper level up above the cave, you'll see these two little like side by side yellow ones over here on the mini map. In the middle of those, you'll see some wild berry bushes. So those are the ones we're going for. So right here's a wild berry bush. Interact with that one. Again, make sure you're using your hoe to make it a little easier on you. And kind of just explore around the area, finding these little wild berry bushes. And then once you've picked up all of the wild berries from up here, we're going to jump down into the cave over here. And to get down into the cave, go ahead and right click on the Yowoo Pass node, and that'll bring you down into the cave node. And once you get down inside of the cave, you should see a bunch of flowers all over the place. These are the flowers you need to go ahead and pick, these violas here. So just run it down the line and gather all of those. Also, a pro tip for any of these, if you run out of things that you can interact with, you can go ahead and hit the escape, change server option, and just swap to a different server to complete the gathers that you're trying to do. Make it a little easier for you. And once you have that completed, go ahead and right-click the quest marker here, and it'll take you to the NPC to turn in. So again, right-click the uh, quest over here on the right side of your screen in the little quest dialog there. 
interact with them, run down the line with the quests here, and you should get the next portion. For this one, you can right click to path over to where we need to go. And we have a few different things we're gonna need to gather for this one. So we wanna get the flowers that are out in the fields over here, plus we wanna get some different plants located at these two farm locations. Now the farm locations are pretty straightforward, it's just these rice fields out here, and uh, just kinda you know make your way through it until you find ones that you can interact with. So there's ones right there, just run it down the line, gather them all, use your hoe, make it a little easier for yourself. And then once you have all of the rice gathered, we can make our way over into the flower fields, which are the further away one over here. So head over to that area on the map. And now here you should see two shades of flower, a darker one and a lighter one. The one that you need to harvest is the lighter shade of purple, the pink colored one. So get the pink ones, not the dark purple. You'll see that these darker colored ones are called scarlet rose bay. So again, you want the pink rose bay, which are these ones over here. So you see it says pink rose bay, you want the, the pink ones. Um, but anyway, when you're done with this, go ahead and uh, right click and head over to the NPC to turn in again. Interact with them to complete the quest, run it down the line. And for this one, you need to make sure to accept the green thumb quest because they have another quest you can accept. So make sure you pick the green thumb quest from them, not the other quest that's available there. Uh, for this one, we need to gather tiger flowers, which is this top option right here. And the tiger flowers are located right here and here. And the waypoint on this one does actually point to you pretty well. Don't need much help from me. Make your way over to these two little peninsulas sitting out here. And when you get out here, you should see a bunch of little orange flowers out here. Just go ahead and interact with all those, gather them up, and that will complete this section. Should be pretty quick. There's a lot of them hanging out up here on these two little peninsulas. And once you have those, you can head over to the next NPC. To do that, just right click the little quest marker here. And it will place the waypoint on the map. So head on up to up there. And when you get up here, go ahead and interact with this NPC, match through the dialogue, take the next quest, escape out before you do too much else, and right click, we now need to gather some bamboo shoots. And this one's going to send us on a rip all the way back almost to Nampamoodle Village, so I'll meet you over there. Now this last one's pretty straightforward, just go ahead and head over to the circles on the mini-map that it places. Pretty, pretty easy. Interact with the bamboo sprouts. You'll need a wood cutting axe for this once again. You only need to get 10 of these, so just kind of head over to all of these different sprouts until you find ones you can interact with and uh, complete the quest. Again, you need the wood cutting axe for this one, so that's why we needed to pick that up at the start. And once you have that, you can right click the icon over here again on the quest log to find the NPC to turn these in. Interact with them, master the dialogue, and you'll need to take the next sign in the green thumb quest line. Again, the green thumb quest line, not irritated bo uh, bamboo and green thumb, take that one. And that's gonna send you back over to Nampu Moodle Village, so we'll head on over that way. And when you get over to the NPC, interact with them, mash through the dialogue, and that will have completed the quest line. So from this point forward, you can now activate the gathering minigame should your part desire to activate the minigame. To do it, go ahead and press the P key on the keyboard, click on the little fish with a pickaxe in his head, and you can turn on and off the uh, the gathering minigame right here. So on, off. So once you have that enabled, when you're out gathering, you'll have the opportunity to trigger one of the gathering minigames, which I failed because I took too long to do. Son of a bitch. Okay, this time for real, I'm definitely gonna get it. You need to press the space bar within the region of the uh, little things that pop up. And when you do it three times in a row, you'll get 10x the total value of uh, your gathering. So that's the meat gathering one. There's a whole bunch of different ones of these for each of the different life skills. I'm gonna bring up the patch notes that are officially released with this patch here, and you'll see the different mini games. So that was the gathering one that we just did right there for butchering. This is the one for hoe gathering. This is the one for tanning, mining, lumbering. Um, they're all different variations of hitting spacebar and moving things around with WASD, right? So uh, if you want to read through what all these do require and what you need to do for them all, I'll link this down in the bottom down below. So you'll be able to uh, read it yourself. But essentially, little mini games will now pop up that'll let you get different items. Also, you have the opportunity to get the Millennial Wild Ginseng, which is a 3 billion silver drop on the release here. However, on NA is currently going for 6 billion if you can get that one. So pretty nice little drop that you have a chance to get from doing it. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for this little video here. So I do hope it's going to help you to unlock the system, learn the system, do all the different things. Let me know in the comments now down below what you think. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next YouTube video, Twitch live stream every single weekend, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.